Uh, still no deal in Minneapolis where educators are on strike for a third day today. Minneapolis schools remain closed as bargaining continues. Kate Raddick spoke with teachers as they marched through the city. It was day three of the Minneapolis educators strike and no progress has been made. Union leaders say that the district hasn't made a counter proposal in over a week. Minneapolis educators remained firm in their demands to address class sizes, wages, and mental health support for students. Second grade teacher, Dr. Marcia Wyatt. It does not matter how long, it, however long it takes, that's how long we'll be here. Wyatt and other educators rallied outside the district office early Thursday before bargaining resumed at 9.30 in the morning. Look, we've got big problems in this district and we need to be working together to solve them. When we fight, we win. Then hundreds later gathered outside the Hennepin County Government Center and were joined by other unions showing their support, telling companies to pay workers their work. Um, this has been fantastic. We've, we've been picketing in front of the school and um, lots of cars honk and wave on the way by. MPS is offering over a 6% wage increase for teachers over the next two years and 8% for their education support professionals. Teachers want a 21% raise over two years and ESPs want most of its members to be making $37,000 a year starting out. I love you, I miss you, but this is a learning experience. Pay attention. This is how you get what you need when you need it. Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. District officials say Minneapolis is facing a budget shortfall due to enrollment losses over the last several years. Stay with WCCO. We'll, of course, have a continuing coverage of the teacher strike.